I think people expect to see France and Denmark going through very easily. I don't. It is a, a very difficult group, but you know, we've been through that before in the past and we've been able to get results. You know, this is another opportunity to get results. I think we'll be a lot wiser after the first round of games. I think uh, they're also always so crucial. Um, you know, Denmark is expected to win against Tunisia and it's not going to be easy. The biggest one, our, our final, is sort of like, you know, I can talk from experience, our final was our first game against Japan. We needed to win that one. Well, our final was going to be against Tunisia. You know, we, if we want to get through the group stage, we need to win that one. Um, but Tunisia won't be easy because anyone who's qualifying through Africa uh, are, are, are very good. But people don't know Australia. So, you know, in, and when I'm in Europe, they actually give no respect to Australian players and, and Australian team. Actually, when I'm there, like they laugh and say, oh, you guys play against kangaroos anyway. So, so but that's how they see Australia because I have no clue about what we've got here. I'm not so high on France and I've seen them quite closely. They have played Denmark, uh, you know, Pogba has been ruled out, Kante has been ruled out. They've obviously got a tremendous squad and they could field two teams, but a lot of it I feel hinges on, on, a, on a Benzema or a, an Mbappe. And if you can isolate those two players and, you, you know, you can put a game plan together, I feel you can, you can, you can stop them fairly easily. Um, so, so I feel there's a chance for, for the Socceroos and, and, you know, do they get a point in that one? It blows everything right, wide open. Uh, there'll be pressure on France, you know, straight off the bat. In one game, of course, Australia can beat Tunisia. And Tunisia can beat France and Denmark can, beat, can finish first. So I wouldn't be surprised if, even if Denmark finishes first. Ericsson's been in, in unbelievable form with Man United. Um, now he's selected for the national team again. Uh, I think they're going to be just as tough as France, um, so that, that, that's going to be an interesting one because that's our last game. I still expect France to go through, but I'm not as high on them as, as a, just a clear walkthrough of the group. Uh, so, so if, you, know, you know, anyone who gets points in the first game, you know, they're in it. My heart says Australia, my mind is telling me um, France and Denmark.